Strumming and singing at the same time is a challenge all beginners face. It's hard to do two things at once, especially when you get into more complex strumming patterns. I'm gonna outline some steps here that can really help you get stronger at this, make it more easy for you. And this is the kind of thing you gotta be patient and work on it step by step. Start with easier songs here. Let's dive in. Playing through your favorite songs with just one strum can really help you get started. Simplify the rhythm and sing along like that. Whether it's, you know, Happy Birthday or Amazing Grace, doesn't really matter, but a nice simple song with one strum is a good place to start in terms of singing at the same time. Put that tricky rhythm aside. Next, you want to practice counting out loud with your chord transitions. So again, don't sing, but something like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, then strumming on one and three. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and lastly four strums. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. This, consider this a coordination exercise. You're just working on doing two things at once. It's simple to start, but take the chords from the song you're working on and do that. I mentioned Amazing Grace and Happy Birthday. Those are great songs to start, strumming and singing at the same time. They're in three, and a nice exercise would be to do three strums per chord. For example, Happy Birthday to you. Happy Birthday to you. Okay, three strums per chord. I've done tutorials for these songs that go way more in detail and teach them in different keys and with different strumming patterns. I'll link to those down below as well, but start with easy songs like this, simple strumming patterns, and sing along to those. You'll gradually build up your ability to strum and sing at the same time. Hey, if you're getting value from these tips, just take a second to give that thumbs up a musical tap. It really helps me out. Leave a comment with your favorite tip below and subscribe for tons more beginner ukulele videos. In terms of counting exercises that are a little more complex, let's take something like the island strum, which is down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And we're gonna count along to this in two different ways. You wanna be able to do this. Check it out. I'm gonna say one and two and three and four and, and strum it along to that. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and right then what if I only count one two three four so I'm changing the rhythm up here and then it becomes one two three four one two three four so see how some of those strums happen in the cracks happen between the numbers and a lot of the time when we're singing that's what's happening we have to say a word without strumming or strum without singing and that's the hard part so you want to be able to work on that and find those moments in the song where things are not happening in sync that's often the hard part so work on those rhythmic exercises then whatever song you're having trouble with listen to it again and again and again get it deep in your ears you might think oh i already know it i, I can sing it but can you really sing it with perfect rhythm do you know the words by heart the more, and then you can try to sing along with the recording and really get to know it deeply. That will absolutely help you do two things at once because you'll have to think less and less about one element and be able to focus a little more on the strumming. As you listen and break down the song, take note of where the words land. Where are those spots where it's between the cracks? Now, this is the kind of thing that a teacher can really help you with, and often that's one of the things I'm doing with my students is helping them kind of line up strumming patterns with words. Oh, no, this word happens before the down. Oh, this one is right between those two ups, you know? And those are the tricky parts, but if you can find them and isolate just one little chord, one strumming pattern with a syllable or two, that's a way to really figure it out and improve your singing as you strum. So slow down, break it down to one element at a time, make things as simple as possible, whether it's starting with one strum, a simple counting exercise, or working on one specific moment in that song where you know the rhythm's a little tricky, break it down, isolate, and work on it slowly and patiently. It'll come together. 